We're in the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois. We're looking forward to another great year of football. So thanks for joining us for tonight's first game of the season as the Packers square off against the Bears. Both teams have taken the field, and the season is about ready to get started. Stewart, he's just about ready to kick this one away. This one is handled by number 86. And they're ready to go on offense for the first time. Well, John, in the history of the NFL, there is no more storied rivalry than the Packers against the Bears. All those championships and Hall of Famers, these two teams have great stories and a great rivalry between them. The Bears come out in a dime package. Launches it deep to the left. In and out of his hands. This defense, John, knows how to create a lot of pressure. Putting pressure on the quarterback can disrupt passes. But pressuring the receivers can do the same thing. If you can play physically on the outside, bump them off their routes, hold them up at the line, you can take away his receiving options, forcing him to just get rid of it. Jones, the lone setback. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. Off target. He gets it. Williams is there on the stop at the 30-yard line. Great throw to beat the zone. I'll tell you, the defense has to do a better job of coming up and clamping down on the receiver whenever he enters their zone. First and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. Let's go, Green. Let's go. No stop. No stop. No stop. The Bears come out in a nickel package. They'll pass on first down. Throws it. And it's complete. Excellent recognition by the receiver, leading the coverage and adjusting his route accordingly. Option routes are receiving routes designed to take advantage of the coverage. It's up to both the receiver and the quarterback to make the same read. If the receiver reads zone, but the quarterback reads man, you can see passes going right to defender. Chicago comes out in their nickel pack. Gets rid of it. And this pass is completed. Coleman is there for the tackle. Every pass right on target as they keep moving the chains. The defense is allowing the receivers to get too far upfield on them and isn't making any plays to break up the passes. First so they have first and ten here. Ball on the 47 yard line. Jones in the backfield. They'll go with a play fake with the throw. Nearly intercepted. He's back in his zone. He's reading. He sees the quarterback the whole way. And then he gets a chance at an interception. He just didn't finish the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 47 yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Hands it off to the back. Number 21 comes up to make the play. This is a spot where you want to show the defense that they have to respect the running game. So that play goes for about six. They convert on this third down, they have to get it to the 37. Chicago comes out in a 4 3. Throws it. Smith is there on the stop. Good job picking up the blitz, picking up the first down. Hey, that was a heck of a call. I mean, they saw the pressure was coming, and he knew right where to go with the ball. And then he got it there. First Eighth play of this drive. Ball on the 31-yard line. The Bears come out in a 4-3. And off to the tailback. Number 21 is there for the tackle at the 28-yard line. Now they got to keep going at it. They can get that defense tired and on its heels. These games will get longer and bigger as the game goes on. Sam, this is the ninth play of this drive. Chicago comes out in a 4-3. Aimed it off to the back. 
Coleman is there on the stop at the 24. Right now, they need to keep going at the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they'll be able to break one for a big game. On third down now, they have to get it to the 21-yard line to pick up a first. The Bears with a four-man front. Toss play to the right. Monroe stops him short of the marker. Can't get to the marker on third down, so let's see if the place kicker comes in now. Here we go. This will take the lead. The attempt is good. And they come away with a field goal on their first drive of the game. They established some things on offense, and they got three points out of it. I'm thinking that we're going to see a lot more points out of them before this one's over. Perry needed to kick this one off. From the one. Kick See if they can turn this first drive into points. Ball on their own 24. First and ten. Stay at home. Here we go, baby. Only one man back. Hey, let's go. Watch it. They give it to the halfback. Alexander comes up to make the play. At the 31. Spoto running hard, going right through the arm tackles. It's second down and three to go. There we go, baby. Rock and roll. Come on. Play hard and fast, baby. Don't stop. Don't stop that motor. The blitz is on. Gets rid of it. And he hits his target. And so the whole field was able to stand back there and find the open man. You know, when the defense is sending extra rushes at the quarterback, it takes a lot of poise to get the ball out of there with any accuracy. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. No more, fellas. Hand it off to the back. Holland is there for the tackle at the 44. You have a good balance of run and pass on offense. The defense doesn't have a chance to focus in on either one of them. They need to be prepared to cover both options. Gain of five on the play. Ball on their own 44. Get some slot going. Let's go. Spoto, the lone back. Hand off to the tailback. Number 90 is there on the stop at the 48-yard line. Spoda rumbles forward for a gain of four. Third and maybe one. Everything you've got. Crossing it right, trying to get past the sticks. Number 35 is there for the tackle at the 46. That was a perfect call for that situation. You pitch it out, pick up a block or two, and just get what you have to to convert for the first down. First and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. Forrest sends a man in motion. to the tailback. Number 90 comes up to make the play at the 44. They might not be busting off big game, but those linemen are really working hard down there. Second and eight. Ball on the 44-yard line. Let's go. Keep the throttle down. Hold the up. Deuce it, deuce it. Under pressure, the pass ball's incomplete. He threw it a little too soon, and it missed the mark. The pass rush almost got to him. I don't think he ever had a chance to set his feet. And I'll tell you one thing. This defensive coach sure has his defensive lineman pumped up. 
Third eighth play eight. of this drive. Ball on the 44-yard line. Green Bay comes out in their nickel package. They're blitzing. Rosen. Ross makes this stop at the 39-yard line. Ingram couldn't make it to the marker and it brings up fourth down. Number 10 will come in now to punt it away. Number 86 back to return. And he signals for the fair catch. Ball on their own 20. Let's go. The Bears with a four-man front. He tucks it away. Mohammed is there for the tackle at the 22-yard line. When you run the ball in the first half, you're trying to keep the defense on it. But if you're only getting gains like that in the second half, then it puts more pressure on your passing game. Defense, get ready. The Bears line up in a 4-3. The rush is on. With the throw, he hits his receiver. Number 21 is there on the stops at the 35. They move the chains with that completion. Yeah, and that was a great recognition by the quarterback, knowing where to go with the football against the blitz and knowing how to get it there. Ball on their own 35. Ball on the 35 yard line. They'll go from the I formation. Watch the man. Pressure gets rid of it, and this pass is completed. Little will be looking at second down now after that pass picks up five yards. Second and five coming up here. All on the 40 yard line. And no fence. We're coming to red. We like to press the wheel. Watch the face. Drops back, gets the pass off. It's going the other way. Perry saw the single coverage, let it go, but the defense was there to pick it off. First so ten. after the interception, now it's first and ten. The Packers come out in a nickel package. Single is there for the tackle. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Ball on the 49-yard line. Blue there, blue there. With the counter play, Holland comes up to make the play at the 47. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. And a pickup of about two. On third down, they have to reach the 41 to convert. Spoto, the lone back, dropping back. Gets the pass off. Incomplete. Incomplete pass. Alexander teed off on him and it forced the ball out before he could make the reception. Yeah, and he's either going to get in there and knock the ball out or he's going to knock someone else out. And we're ready to start in the second quarter. This will be his second punt so far tonight. He signals for a fair catch. First Ball on their own 18. Ball on the 18-yard line. What's going? Only one man back. 
With the carry, Perry is there for the tackle at the 24-yard line. If they can keep getting good runs like that in the second quarter, they'll be able to use play passes the entire second half because the defense will just be thinking about stopping the run. Gain of six on the play. Everything you got, let's go. The Bears come out of the dime package. Closing in with the throw. He can't stay inbounds. And he throws incomplete because he had major pressure. The corner came on a blitz and he sprinted for the quarterback. Guys love the opportunity to get a sack. And that time he just missed taking him down. Third and four. Ball on the 24 yard line. The defense lines up in the nickel. Looking to run it here. The rush gets to him from behind. This guy seems to make big plays in every game that I watch him play. They need to do a better job of sliding the protection over to his side. Tucker is ready to pump this one away. Number 83 is the deep return man. From the 41. Ball on their own 43. Start the drive at the 43 yard line. First and 10. Out of the eye formation. On the call, they'll go with a play fake. Rowan, he was tipped. He has to do a better job of looking off the coverage before he makes a throw like that. Atkins was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Second and 10. Ball on the 43 yard line. Watch your eyes. Only one man in the backfield. Forrest with a man in motion. They soft, man. With the carry, Gonzalez comes up to make the play at the 43. The defense is trying to shut down the running game early to force him to pass. We'll have to see if it works and causes him to give up on it here in the first half. They'll be facing a long third down play here. Green Bay with six defensive backs. Pressure coming. Rosen. Alexander is there on the stop at the 44. Good third down conversion on that catch by number 83. Yeah, and you talk about a guy who will make every catch there is. This is your guy. His hands are so big, they just kind of swallow the football. Tucks it away. Lane comes up to make the play at the 42. I know they didn't get much, but it's all about making the defense respect the fact that you're willing to run. Second and eight. Ball on the 42-yard line. Let's go now. This one is handed off. Big hit on the ball carry. If they keep getting games like this, it could really open up things for them in the second half. Third down. They have to get it to the 34-yard line for a first. A little misdirection. Single is there for the tackle at the 37-yard line. They don't make it to the marker, but they could try a long field goal. Stewart will tie this game up if the field goal is good. It was long enough, but it's sliced to the right. So a questionable call in a close game. I know that this team is desperate for a score here, but if you want to win this thing, you have to make smart decisions. Know what your kicker is capable of. Heck, that decision might just have lost him the game. Chicago comes out in a 4-3. They give it to the halfback. McDaniel is there on the stop at the 48-yard line. One thing these guys don't want to do is give up in a running game, because if they do that, they become one dimension. 
And that plays right into the defense's hands. Full right around midfield. Ball on the 48 yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Hey, let's go. Little starts out of the shotgun. Keep the throttle down. Take it right. We turn it up. Hey, let's go one deep. With the pass. This one falls incomplete. Irwin was his intended target. Third and six. Ball on the 48 yard line. Jones, the deep man. Hey, watch the screen. Watch it. Drops back, gets the pass off. From behind, but caught. Can't get it from behind. Monroe is there on the stop at the 40-yard line. On the offense, number 21. Hickson held him up. The rule on the hold is you can't let your hands go to the outside of the body. If your hands do move outside, then you have to move them back in as soon as you can, or you'll get called for holding. Get it up! Chicago comes out on a dime package. Let's go, Bird. Good thing right here. Almost picked off. That was a good play, turn bad play. Good because their zone defense worked well. Bad because he dropped the interception. That's one he wishes he could have back. So the lineup to punt after going three and out. the 25 yard line he manages almost nothing on the return going down at the 25 the Bears will start the drive at the 25 yard line first and ten the Bears line up in trips bunch Single is there for the tackle at the 28. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Second and seven. Ball on the 28-yard line. Let's go. Spot up the lone back, looking upfield. Foley comes up to make the play at the 40. And that game will get them a fresh set of downs. It was a great run. He saw his blockers create some room for him, and he accelerated right through the hole. First and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Let's go now. Tucks it away. Number 99 is there for the tackle at the 41. A big part of this guy's running style is to use the blockers to set up his cut. But they were nowhere to be found on that run. So a gain of about one. Second and nine. Ball on the 41-yard line. Turn it up now. Only one man back. He gets the count. Gonzalez comes up to make the play at the 45. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Third and five. Ball on the 45 yard line. Let's turn it up, deep. Under pressure, throwing on the run. Singleton is there on the stop at the 43 yard line. Hilliard is able to come down with it, and that completion will keep the chains moving. I'll tell you, there's no substitute for picture perfect route running. First Almost at the two minute mark now. Ball on the 43 yard line. on the draw. Lane comes up to make the play at the 43. No, no place to run on that one. And the thing is, when you don't get underneath the defensive line, you're not going to have the leverage that needed to knock them off the ball. And that time, the defense had all the leverage. Two-minute warning coming up. And we've reached the two-minute mark on the 43-yard line. Set, 
Jones, the man in motion. Hand it off. Alexander is there on the stop. So as they get sent to try to convert, here's what both teams have done on third down. Drops back. With the throw. This pass is incomplete. Great effort up front to put the pressure on. And you'll see that kind of thing out of these guys a lot. They're big and they're strong and they're fast. Opposing offensive lines sure have their hands full when they get out in this field. They'll try to place this inside the 10. Fair catch called for. Inside their own 20. Let's go, boys! The Bears line up in a 4 3. Hand off to the tailback. Monroe is there for the tackle at the 11. Mixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on. Running the ball on second down seems to be the best choice for them. Ball on their own 11. Keep the throttle down. Seven Chicago three, lines up in a 4-3. Hand it off to the back. Mohammed is there on the stop at the 11-yard line. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Third and seven. Ball on the 11-yard line. Jones lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Number 21 comes up to make the play at the 27-yard line. The defense was out of position on that run. You know, they caught him on a blitz on that play. And the thing about a blitz is you can throw him for a loss. The bad thing about a blitz is once you get through it, then you're into the secondary, and you'll usually get a big play. That time, it was a bad thing about the blitz. The blitz is on. Rolling out to his right. Throws it. Still mark it at the 41-yard line. He makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. This is a great block. Watch here. He just barrels into the defender, taking him right off the turf. Now that is a textbook block right there. Great shoot. Let's turn it up, D. He'll pass on first down. Gives this one a ride to the left. This pass is incomplete. Smith with the coverage. Jones, the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. Defense, get ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dropping back, gets the pass off. Ooh, nearly picked off. Two tipped passes in a row. Third and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. Watch your eyes. Contain them. Here we go. Chicago lines up with seven guys in the secondary. Here comes the blitz. Rowing. it incomplete. The offense executed the play just the way it's drawn up. The receiver just couldn't get it under control. He's trying to pin them back as far as possible as he lines up for his third punt. He muffs it. 
The Packers scoop up the fumble. They give it right back to them after the fumble on the punt return. I'll tell you, when you're returning a punt, your number one priority is to hold on to the ball. I mean, your defense just made a good stand. And the offense is set to come in and make something happen. Can you do something like that? Chicago goes with a four-man front. On the ground. Play action. With the throw, he hits his receiver. Monroe is there for the tackle at the 10-yard line. The pass was fired in there so hard, I think he left smoking the ball. This will be a chip shot. The kick sails through. It's good. Three more points added to the board with that successful kick. His second so far. Perry will be kicking off. Squib kick short. From the six yard line. So after the first two quarters of play, the score is 6 0. Packers. 6 Chicago. Nothing. We're ready to begin the fourth play. And we're set for the second half. Kicking off to start the second half. Number 83. And he got all of that one. A great kick. This one is taken by number 83. Well, John, this one has clearly turned into the type of classic battle that we anticipated. You know, whenever these two teams get together, they're going to give it all the they have. I don't we'll think you're going to see either one of these teams pull away. First and ten. Keep the throttle down. Spoto, bone setback. With a counterplay. Holland is there on the stop at the 28-yard line. He's had pretty good success running the ball in this one. Ball on their own 28. Ball on the 28 yard line. Back in the gun. So we gonna take it. Green Bay with six defensive backs. Hand it off. Butler comes up to make the play at the 29 yard line. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Third and maybe one. Ball on the 29 yard line. You can't stop. Rolling out to his right. Rosen. And this pass is complete. The conversion for the first down on that throw. They ran the perfect play to get those couple of yards. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Green Bay comes out in their nickel package. No pass on first down. Pressure launches this one to the right. And he can't hang on to it. There's not one wide receiver who can ever slam him. He's never dropped the pass. It's just part of the game. Second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Hey, let's go. Yeah. Forrest yeah. will work out of the shotgun. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. They're coming with the blitz. Incomplete pass. Good call by the defense as they set the corner on a blitz. He just had too much pressure in his face to see anything, and he threw one out there. Lucky for him, it wasn't picked off. 
And here's a look at each team's success on third down so far. They've done very well on third down to this point. With the pass, hits his tight end who's wide open. They'll spot this one at the 43-yard line. He found the ball carrier to make his fourth stop of the game. play of this drive. Ball at midfield. Nickelback in this time. Aims it off to the back. Has room. The 30. The 20. The 10. 5. And he gets in there. Touchdown. These guys that can shrug off tackles are great to have in your backfield. Some of these guys are big and they just run over the defender. Well, other guys wait until the defender commits and they use a move or a juke or a spin to get out of a tackle. Stewart can give them the lead with the conversion here. The extra point attempt is good. John, the offense puts together a solid drive. It culminates in a touchdown, and now they have the lead. They look like they were in sync. That's what you need on scoring drives. Everyone doing their part every time the ball snaps. This one is handled by number 86. The momentum has been going back and forth so far. This one looks like it's going to be a close game right till the end. Green Bay will start the drive at the 20-yard line. The Bears line up in a 4-3. He tucks it away. Williams is there for the tackle at the 29. You can't have a good running attack without blocking. But blocking alone won't get you what you need. You got to have a back who can find the holes when they're there. Second and one. Ball on the 29-yard line. Hey, let's go one deep. The Bears with a four-man front. Number 86, the motion man. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Crosses it out to the left. Number 21 is there on the stop at the 35-yard line. So on the blitz, they can't get to the ball carrier until it's too late. And when you're blitzing to stop the run, the idea is bringing more guys and the offense can block. We also got to cut off the lanes and gaps that he can use to escape out of the backfield. That just didn't happen here. Let's go, be Hand it off. Coleman comes up to make the play at the 37. He was looking for a place to run, but all those places were filled up with guys waiting to tackle him. Second and eight. Ball on the 37 yard line. Hold the look. Hey, hey, hey. Keep it up. Chicago comes out in a 4-3. Hand off to the tailback. Smith is there for the tackle at the 43. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. you got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the open. Eight of six on the play. Chicago using three linebackers. Rowing. 
Number 21 is there on the stop at the 32-yard line. You have to play him physically off the line. Bump him off his route, jam him, stuff like that. Because I'll tell you this, if you give him a free release and he can get behind you, he can do some real damage. Ball on the 32-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. On the call. Harris comes up to make the play at the 24-yard line. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. Second to two. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Bears with a four-man front. Pushes it out to the left. Number 53 is there for the tackle at the 17. Great run there. That'll be a first down. He really ran well there. He gets some great blocks, and he has patience as he picks up the first down. Eighth play of this drive. They're in the red zone. They kicked the field goal the last time they were in the red zone. With the counter play. Monroe got very good penetration there. You know, Johnny always seems to be in perfect position to make a play. He's all about effort. His motor's always running at 100%, and he's got the experience to diagnose plays very quickly. Ninth play of this drive. They're inside the 20. Chicago using three linebackers. Number 53 comes up to make the play at the 16-yard line. Jones takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Tenth play of this drive, down inside the 15. Chicago comes out in their nickel package. Goes to the end zone. Drops the interception. Fourth down here is a lot better than a turtle. Which is what the defense should have had on that play. Perry will put them in the lead if he makes this. Veteran kicks it good. A good start to the second half, engineering a drive that ends with a field goal. That's a real good way to get momentum going in your favor. This one is handled by number 83. This one hasn't been decided yet. Each of these teams have played fairly well on both sides of the ball. So I could see this one getting decided by whoever has the last possession. First ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Hold the look. Let's go now. Hey, watch the screen. Come on. Rolling out to his right. And he makes the grab. This one will be spotted at the 24-yard line. That's three tackles so far for him today. Jones didn't have much room to do anything with that one. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of trying something fancy, like going for the pick. Second and six. All on us, y'all. Let's go. Spoto, the lone back. It's a fumble. The Bears recover. Ball was loose in the backfield, but the offense is able to jump on it first. Oh, got lucky that time. That's a real heads-up play. Third and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. Keep the throttle down. Nice job so far on third down for the offense, and we'll see if that continues here. And it's intercepted. I tell you, you don't get a whole lot easier than that. He was right there. The quarterback makes a bad throw, and he brings it in for an interception. Third 
The offense gets ready to go following the interception. Chicago comes out in a 4-3. They give it to the halfback. Coleman is there for the tackle at the 25. Well, here's a look at his numbers after a nice run, and you can see he's been able to break some tackles. Ball on the 25-yard line. Ball on the 25-yard line. Back it up, baby. Chicago using three linebackers. The pass ball's incomplete. That short pass is incomplete. It'll be third down now. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. Jones in the backfield. Gets the pass off right on target to the wide receiver. Now that's a quick release. The quarterback decided where he wanted to go with it, and boom, it was in the receiver's hand. Ten yards away from the end zone. The last time they were down here, they settled for a field goal. Gets the call. Number 53 is there for the tackle. That's another pretty good game. Let me tell you, this is the kind of guy that you can build your offense around. Four more yards to finish off the drive with a touchdown. A little misdirection. Perry is there on the stop at the eight, and he chases him down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. I'll tell you, he's one of the most knowledgeable defenders in the league. He knows how to play the game, and he always knows what's going on. They're eight yards from the end zone. The Bears come out in a nickel pack. Looking upfield. Number 53 comes up to make the play at the four. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Packers ahead of the Bears. Nine, seven. Chicago. The Packers in good position to add to their lead as we begin the fourth period. This will be a chip shot. It's good. Up by five now, following the successful field goal attempt. This one is taken by number 83. We've got a good one going here today. The Bears will start the drive at the 20-yard line. First and 10. The backs are lined up in an eye. Closing in. Gets rid of it. You just can't find a way to bring that one in. The defense forced the issue that time, John. The guys up front got good pressure, forcing him to get rid of that one before he wanted to. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Hey, watch the screen. Here we go. Aimed it off to the back. Ross is there on the stop at the 19-yard line. John, nothing there on that play. Looks like he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. They better mix up the play call a little more, trying to free up some space in the middle. That back just didn't have any help from his line on that play. Ball on their own 19. Ball on the 19 yard line. Give it underneath. It's showtime, baby. The defense has had difficulty stopping them on third down. Deep throw. Williams is there for the tackle at the 45-yard line. This is a guy who comes to play, and he seems to make big catches when they really need him. 
This time they needed to convert on third down, and he's there for the reception and the first down. through the line to bring the runner down. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 41 yard line. Hey, let's go one deep. What's the man? The Packers come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. I'm impressed with their running game. It's a big part of their offense. And they've done a great job taking advantage of blocking up front. Third down play, they have to get it to the 35-yard line for a new first. The offense has been stepping it up on third down all day. It's rid of it. So they don't get the completion, and the defense got a little lucky there. Stewart needs to hit this one perfectly to have a chance. The kick is good. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. He got all of it. The defense needs to come up big with a stop here. Ball on their own 20. They'll go from the I formation. With a counter play. Daniel is there on the stop at the 23-yard line. Jones runs it for about three on the counterplay. Ball on their own 23. Ball on the 23-yard line. Hey, watch that screen! Chicago comes out in a 4-3. Give it to the halfback. Monroe comes up to make the play at the 32-yard line. Good gain on the ground gives them what they needed for a first. And that's just good running. They sent a couple of blitzes in to try and stop him in the backfield, but he just broke free and got past the sticks for a first down. Ball on the 32-yard line. There we go. Christian. Out of the shotgun. With the pass. Right on target to the wide receiver. Good throw, good catch to move the chains. You know, as a receiver, all you have to do is get a step, and this guy's going to put the ball on you. First ball at midfield. Ball on the 49-yard line. Chicago lines up in a 4-3. Nice play fake. Surveys the field. Getting some air under this one, looking for his man deep. Almost in the Oh, man, he had it in the end zone, but dropped it. That's the second worst thing that can happen to a defender, to drop one like that. The absolute worst thing is to have your man beat you for six. Second and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Out of the eye formation. Hand off to the tailback. He just unloaded on him. On the Jones takes advantage of a little daylight. Picks up three yards.
Third down and to convert, they have to get it to the 39 on this play. Hand it off to the back. Play action with the throw. Perry records the tackle at the 44-yard line. Number 80 didn't get enough for the first. Tucker is trying to pin their offense inside the five. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. This is just the kind of situation they were hoping for. Now all they need to do is put together a last-minute drive, and they're going to come away with a win. And now it's up to the defense to shut them down. First and ten. Ball on the nine-yard line. Let's go. Hey, watch the screen. They stop, man. Keep moving. A little misdirection. Holland is there on the stop. On the run. The offensive line loves to run block. Playing physically against the defensive line. They've done a heck of a job of it out there today. Second and six. Ball on the 13-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Forrest sends a man in motion. They're blitzing with the throw. Jumps and makes the catch. He's pushed out at the 22. Perfect execution to get this first down. Look at it here. He knows how far they have to move the chain. And he gets it by making the right decision and laying it in there like that. At the 26-yard line, he wraps up the ball carrier, and his tackle total is now four. Ball on their own 26. Ball on the 26-yard line. All day, baby, come on! Cross play to the right. Dropped in the backfield for a short Good job knifing in there to bring him down. He brings a lot of things to the table. But the thing I like the most is how prepared he always is. I mean, he can run and he can tackle. And he watches so much tape that he actually anticipates what the offense is going to run before they call the play. The Packers come out in a dime packer. Throwing. And the catch is made. Foley is there on the stop at the 36. with the pass. They'll spot this one at the 41. And that's now three tackles for him in this game. Looks almost got to him there, John. You don't always have to get to the quarterback when you blitz effectively. Football's about rhythm and timing. Bring an extra guy that makes him throw the ball before he wants to can upset that timer. Hand it off to the back. Spotted at the 44-yard line. He wraps him up and now has four tackles. Ball on their own 44. Eighth play of this drive. Two-minute warning coming up. the two-minute mark. They give it to the halfback. Ross is there for the tackle at the 48-yard line. He's trying to get them back to the line. 
He'll pass on first down. Pressure coming. Throws it. Complete from the wide receiver. Spins away. They'll spot this one at the 40. So that tackle now gives him four. Looks like they'll go with a hurry up here. Dropping back. Fires this one deep. Nearly intercepted. Time is working against them. Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to keep going to the air. It might be a little too late. And this is the 11th play of this drive. Green Bay comes out in their nickel package. Gets the pass off. The pass ball's incomplete. And they had to go to the air because they need big plays fast. That's right. you got to have composure in these situations. Find your receivers who can pick up yardage after the catch. But most importantly, you have to keep the chains moving. Tinsley is there on the but stop the at the, the 34. Out. And, John, that was the safer option on fourth down. That's not always the most exciting play, to run up the middle for a yard or two. But it sure gets your team fired up when they get the yards on fourth down and keep those chains moving. Boy, the counter play. Foley is there for the tackle at the 32. Spoda battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Packers come out of the nickel package. Rowing, almost picked off. Well, what the defense is doing is they're watching the quarterback's eyes. They're cluing. They're in position so that whatever happens, the ball is in front of them. And that time, it almost got him an interception. 15th play of this drive. Ball on the 32-yard line. They worry about us coming. I can do it, man. Not here, not now. Keep moving. Tackle. With the throw, the wide receiver has it. Alexander is there on the stop to keep the drive alive on that catch by number 83. I'll tell you, as far as hands go, this guy's one of the best in the business. To go across the middle or get down the field, but you know that he's going to make the catch. Looking upfield, this one will be spotted at the 20-yard line. And so that makes tackle number six. He's rushing the offense back to the line. They're coming with the blitz. Rowan, they're going to spot this one at the two. Solid game, picks up another sack. And they go with a no huddle. Drops back. Under pressure, throws to the end zone for the late lead. What a pass, that puts them in the lead. The coach is telling them to go for the two. Direction can't pull him down. The conversion is good. Stewart comes in to kick off. Going with the squib kick. Not the type of kickoff they wanted. Kickoff, out of bounds, number nine. Push plays and takeaways can really kill a team. Usually the team with the fewest mistakes out there will win the game. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. From the gun. Dropping back to pass on first down. Pump fakes with the throw. Right on target to the wide receiver. That'll move the chains where the clock is working against them as they need a touchdown to move ahead. He's trying to hurry them back to the line. 
Hill stopped at the clock with a spike. Ball on the 46 yard line. Chicago goes with a four man front. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. Behind him. And he has it. Monroe is there on the stop. At the 32. They'll call this play at the line of scrimmage. Gets the pass off. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. No choice here, John. They just have to keep throwing. Yeah, they do. Running the ball isn't going to do a whole lot of good now. Second and ten. Ball on the 32 yard line. Little sends a man in motion. The rush is on. Pressure throws one up in the end zone. Hoping to tie it late. Oh, man, he had it in the end zone, but drop it. One person breathing a sigh of relief is a quarterback. The Bears come out on a nickel package. Steps up. Fires this one deep. Ooh, nearly picked off. Good timing, getting in between the ball and the receiver to save what would have been a big game. It's a blitz. Pump faking. He passed looking for the end zone. Right on the money. Now watch how they get out of a jam. They're looking at a fourth and long situation here. And they call the perfect play at the perfect time. He makes one heck of a throw, and he gets it past the marker to keep him going. Everything had to work on that one, and everything did. timeouts to ice the kicker but these guys whole job is to stay focused I don't think anything could rattle them. Perry will break this fourth quarter tie if he can kick the extra point here From the 18 yard line. That'll wrap this one up, and the final score is Green Bay 19. Chuck 18. Bears. For EA Sports, this is Al Michaels and John Madden wishing you a very pleasant good evening.